Welcome to iPad Studio Setup, creating a green screen project with Mrs. Bond. The high school library has iPads, which teachers can sign up to use with their classes for video creation projects. Each iPad has a set of Apple apps and Google apps to make using them an individualized experience for users. The Apple apps allow users with more video editing experience or home Apple devices to personalize their projects. For example, if you've used iMovie before, you can use this app to edit or enhance your project. The Google apps allow users the opportunity to log in and download items stored in the Google Drive. If logging into Google, it is important to remember to log out when finished. Before starting your project, you should consider the following. What background images do you want to appear in your video? Are you planning a travel video? Consider using a map. If you're planning a newscast, locate a studio desk and background. What images might enhance your project? Are you giving a book talk? Think about using the author's picture or an image of the book cover. If you're making a weather report, watch an actual report to see what types of images they have on their maps. Images and backgrounds can be imported at any time during the project, but planning them early may enhance what you're talking about. To get started, click the green screen icon on the bottom toolbar of the iPad. Click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner of green screen to create a new project. It is important not to open or delete any other student projects that may be saved on the iPad. There are three layers to any green screen project. Layer 1 is for images which you plan to talk about during your recording. Layer 2 is for the video which you will be creating while standing in front of the green screen. And layer 3 is for the background image which will replace the green screen behind you. Now you're ready to create your video. Make sure to plug in the lapel microphone before recording your videos. You have two options to record. Option 1 is the preferred option. Using the iPad's camera app, select Video. This allows you to record one or several videos in front of the green screen. Once your videos are recorded, open the green screen app. Click the second layer, slide the timeline to when you want the video to appear, then click plus video. All and locate your video. Repeat this step if you would like to add additional videos. Option 2 uses the iPad's green screen app. Click on the second layer, click the plus sign, camera, video. Press record and you will have a 5 second delay to get into place in front of the green screen. This method only allows you to record one video. Now that you see your images and backgrounds, click on their layers, one or three, to adjust them while on screen. Pinching and adjusting the images will allow you to preview where you appear in relation to your background and images. Make sure to eliminate any parts of the screen's frame and the wall behind it. Note, this image shows where the green screen is located in the camera's view before zooming. Step 2 is setting the background. You will need to click on the third layer. Slide the timeline to when you want the background image to appear. Click the plus sign, select an image, and click All. This will display images saved to the iPad's camera roll. Locate your image, select it, and click Use. If you want your backgrounds to change, click on layer 3, slide the timeline to where the background will change, and click Trim. Then repeat this step if you want to add additional images. Step 3 is importing images. Click on the first layer, select the timeline, slide the timeline to when you want the image to appear, click the plus sign, select an image, and click All. This will also display images saved to the iPad's camera roll. Locate your image, select it, and click Use. Your image will import in full size. To adjust the image size, pinch the screen to shrink the image. To position and adjust the image's layout, drag it on the screen to where you would like it displayed. If you want your images to change, click on layer 1, slide the timeline to where the image will change, and click Trim. Then repeat this step if you want additional images. In order to export your project out of the green screen app, click Save. Your project will play back at a faster speed. Once you see your video has been recorded, click Save to the camera roll. When you see Success, click OK, then click Done. Upload the video to Google Drive and share it with your teacher and or group or partners if applicable. Good luck!